Spirit Town. Yeah. Uh, we're here at IBC 2024. Uh, you gave a speech yesterday introducing some new, uh, not, not Cinema 4D features, exactly. it was Max and Studio That's right. That's around right. After Effects. Yeah. But anyway, could you introduce yourself and uh, just tell people what you're doing? What am I doing? Well, my name is Andy Needham and I'm a senior freelance motion designer. I'm based yeah. in London and, um, you know, if you know some of my stuff, like I've been uh, doing a lot of training as well. Like this is kind of 10 years ago, how I got started doing stuff with it was first lynda.com. And then around that sort of time, I was presenting for Maxon like at yeah. NAB. You're, you're a constant speaker. Yeah, I've been doing quite a few presentations either at NAB or here at IBC, and, you know. and, and I also think you're quite humble about your work. I think <laughs> the motion graphic stuff you're doing would be torn apart for references if I would receive a brief from a client, you know? Mm. Uh, oh, so cool. really well done. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you were talking about Maxon Studio. I was, yeah. What it is, mate? What is it? Um, it's like this kind of templating engine that you have inside of After Effects, mm. but it's like, it's its own interface, so it's right. really user-friendly and you don't necessarily have to have After Effects or deep After Effects knowledge just to yeah. use it. So it has like a few levels of use cases, right? If you're just an editor, maybe, mm -hmm. not necessarily an After Effects person, you can, but you know, you can get in there and, yeah. and add. So it's basically an uh, extension of After Effects. Definitely. definitely a good way of putting it, I'd yeah. say, yeah. Um, it's, um, has these kind of reusable template files that they call capsules, yeah. which is a kind of a term that Maxon use for like uh, encapsulating the tool. Like yeah. so, all the parts of After Effects, like layers and effects and things like that. Yeah, I've seen yesterday. Yeah. Quite lo looks quite co convenient. Do you think they should do their own compositor, or the tools, the expansions, like the Maxon Studio, is enough? I mean, that's a tricky one to say because, like, your you know, like, I think people, After Effects is so established, right? And, yeah. And, you know, Definitely. just going into that with something that kind of takes away, I think for, for somebody who, like I was saying about those different levels of user, right? Yeah. You know, you don't want to make it any more complicated than it needs to be. And so with Studio, it's a really, it's a pretty simple user interface, right? You browse for a capsule, you see the design, drag and, roll, yeah. and then you just add it, and then you can, edit it right within there. You don't need to dive into the compositions in After Effects if you don't want to, because the designer of the capsule has already exposed everything that you'd need to... It's, it, it's a certain niche of users, though, so, you know, yeah. motion graphic designers yeah. mostly, I would imagine. But, but, you know, from what I demonstrated, you can, if you, you can go in and change anything you want. Like, yeah. if the font isn't right, typically, like, you know, because there isn't, like, the UI for that at the moment to change change the font, but just go into the comp and do it, you know? So, and, and that's one of the things I was showing, like if you want to create some unity between a couple of capsules, yeah. it's just usually fonts, colors, things like that. And then you're, you know, and then you're there. So having the ability to do that right. in a fairly simple way is, is, is you know, it, it means that you can then, um, well, take these separate elements and make them cohesive. Yeah, what you showed is quite curious got me curious mm -hmm. because sometimes you need for clients and uh, yeah just speed up stuff yeah Re really useful uh, what, what you think about other updates uh, I, <laughs> I was writing my questions like I had some questions about the uh, where what features we can expect mm -hmm. and then they do announcement of the new products yeah basically answering all my questions <laughs> so I have nothing to talk about now. <laughs> well, but I still I still want to yeah uh, what features excites you you're big on particles yeah yeah. Yeah. What do you think about the updates on particles? Well, you know, having having the the follow spline is really useful now because yeah. normally you would go in and have a spline in a field force or something like that, and the, you know that can be a bit funky in some ways yeah. because of if depending on how you set it up. Um, but having its own dedicated modifier is, you know, is pretty useful I think because then um, you can just redirect particles. I or, I, I feel quite envy. Uh, because uh, I switched from cinema to Houdini's yeah. se several years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, while I'm perfectly fine where I am, it's so tempting because cinema still remains the most convenient tool yeah. on the market. 
and now the dynamic and you know simulation tools are so convenient it's almost like a game yeah in there uh, so while Cinema 4D is getting so advanced on the particles front and such. Do you think X particles are a danger? They're so established. Yeah. You know, they've got a lot of years on these Maxon ones, and so, and they they're just different tools, right? You can do certain things with XP that you can't. Are they interchangeable in any way? Do you know, I've not um, like you, like I don't think fields you... from from cinemas, you know, tool set within X particles. I don't think you can use like a, a C4D modifier with like X particles and stuff. I and see. I don't really know why you'd want to do that if you've got the stuff in it, if you're using XP, if you're used to it. But I think from way back, you could still use the classic forces in C4D with X particles. Like you could still do that, yeah. you know? But so there was obviously some integration, but I think they still have, they have fields and things like that in there. Right. But I mean, you know, uh, in City of Moffa, like different, their suite of tools has just grown bigger now. So, yeah. you know, and um, I think what's interesting is they have those GPU sides, G GPU uh, acceleration. Nexus, yeah. uh, is it Nexus, something like that? Yeah. I the, don't remember. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah. last time but we again, you're, you're using Houdini now, so you're, yeah. Uh, but I keep my license though. Yeah. Uh, just some features in Cinema 4D are still yeah, Cinema no, 4D. Like suppose. you say, it's, well, it's just another tool, right? So, or sometimes you just need to speed yeah. yeah, you know, people are not considering the the deliverable of visual from proper point of view, which is from A to Z in terms of turnaround of everything. Yeah. In Houdini, it will take quite a bit longer than in Cinema 4D. Yeah. It's not about rendering or modeling as such. What can you say about heavy lifting for for, for particles? Can you do like Houdini stuff now? I'm not a Houdini user, so I wish Houdini I is basically <laughs> super heavy lifter, like yeah. millions and millions and millions. Yeah, well, you millions. can throw millions of particles at this because it's on the, it runs on the GPU. Ten, like, tens like, of millions, hundreds of millions. I would have to get back to you on that. Yeah. <laughs> but for my from 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 my needs, you know, you've got, I guess I just stick a couple of zeros on the end of whatever the standard thing is, and then, but, but you know, and then you making those like really small size. But oh. I think they've what they did do right was get some of the key, you know, things in there, right? So you, there's, you know, linking it with Pyro so you can do all the nice infection stuff. Then you've got like the infection system type stuff with uh, predator prey and flocking as well. That's interesting. Yeah, it's really, it's, it's really good. It's really easy to set up as well. That yeah, was the thing, they kind of maxonified it, you know, which is like the term I like to use for when they just make it simple and intuitive. Like MoGraph is like easy kind of stuff, right? But they've kind of done that with particles as well. So you can just get in there and just set something up. And also, like um, Yada, Dea, he made loads of presets as well. So even if you, you know, you have no inspiration, at least there's I'm a starting curious. point, you know, to jump in. I'm now curious to yeah. try. Andy, thank you for your time. Thank you so I much. I hope you're enjoying the conference yeah. and uh, meet you in UK. Yeah. <laughs> with our weather. <laughs>